So what happens next? Oh, that must be Todd. He should have been home with the baby by now. The baby? Oh my God, I forgot all about your dad's case. How'd it go? He won? Oh, he did. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't Todd, no. It was Clyde at the Sun talking about some story. You mean the McBains had to give up the baby tonight? Yeah. When the decision came down, it was awful for them. You know, Todd was thrilled, and he's, it's probably just giving them some time to say goodbye. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. I'm sorry to cry on big celebration. Langston, Are you kidding me? You stop it. We care about you. You got that? <laughs> we can still celebrate the baby. Thank you. <laughs> I should get going. No. What? No. Absolutely not. No. There is no way you are ever spending another night alone in that house. No. no, but no I, I, I've got it all uh, thought out. Uh, the room next to yours. Absolutely. We can set her up in there. Right. And come on. You, yeah. And you know you'll be bunking in with her tonight because you got so much to talk about. Star, you go in <laughs> and you get her fixed up, okay? So okay. Oh. Oh. Call me girl. if uh, and when that gets home with I the will. baby. I will. You're quite welcome. Langston, we're glad you're here. Good night, girls. Good night. Wow. Kids are amazingly strong. Her parents are dead, and she just keeps moving on. Yeah. For a whole year and a half. Well, thank heaven it's all out in the open now. Thank heaven? How about thank you? Marcy, I love you. Do you hear me? I love you. I only did what I did because I love you. That's got to mean something. I just can't talk right now, okay? I, I, have to, I just have to think. I'm gonna... I'll call you back. She hung up again. She hung up? Oh, that's great. What do you guys want to do now? I don't know. I mean, I... I think... I think I was getting through to her, you know? She said she was gonna call back. Perfect. When is the FBI coming in? Please tell me you notify the FBI. Don't tell me how to do my job. Well, somebody's got to. This woman <clears throat> has kidnapped my son. It doesn't become a kidnapping case till we know Marcy's not coming back. Are you serious? Well, he was on the phone with her. She's probably driving to Buffalo. Well, it's my call, Manning, and if I determine that she's not coming back, then I will call the FBI. Well, she just made a mistake. Her instinct is to do the right thing, right? Our best hope is, the, is that she comes back on her own. Our best hope. <laughs> Our best hope. So I'll just sit here and I'll just hope that Marcy feels bad enough to turn the car around. I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Johnny, yeah. um, listen. When she does come home, what's going to happen? I mean, can you promise me that, well, that she's not going to go to jail? I can't promise you anything, Mike. It's in Marcy's hands now. I really do love your daddy, okay? You have to know that. But I love you, too. And God, I just don't know what to do. I can't have you both, okay? So they won't let me, and I just... Pretty soon we're gonna need money, and then if we go back to Landview, then I just I don't know what to do. Tell me, I wish that you could just tell me what we're supposed to do. I can't ask you that because I am I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm supposed to know what to do. I'm supposed to know what to do, and I do. I know what I have to do. I have to do what's best for you. You're just dragging your feet because you hate me. I don't hate you, Manning. I don't care enough about you to hate you. See? Marcy? Honey, is that you? 
I've made a decision. Mercy, honey, I'm, I'm here. Go on. This is really difficult for me, okay? Yeah, I know, I know it's hard, honey. It's hard for both of us, okay? You gotta remember, what you gotta remember is that we are both, we're both together on this thing, okay? So, honey, tell me where you are, and I will come and get Listen, you crazy bitch. You bring my son back Wait. right now, right now, or I will hunt you down and drag you back, and you will never see my son again. You will never see him again. You understand me? No! That is my son, and I am never going to bring him back. Do you hear me? Never! When I was little, they used to take me with them to the Colombian rainforest, Sierra Leone, Sri Lanka. Now, when school started, we just go for the summer. They'd help deliver medical supplies, take food to the orphanages, help rebuild huts that had been destroyed by typhoons or earthquakes. I should have been with them. Langston, don't say that. If, if you were, then I would have never met you. You're still glad you did? Now that you know? Right. It, just because you didn't tell me that your parents we're dead, I I'm just gonna drop you as a friend? I would understand. Okay, I, I guess I get why you didn't tell anybody but me. Langston, you could tell me anything. I'm your best friend. I, I know, I, I was scared. And plus, I, I had told the lie so many times that my parents were coming home tomorrow or the next week that I started to believe it. I thought that if I kept it quiet, no one would get hurt. Especially you. You worried about Todd? <laughs> no, it worries me. I said all this funny stuff was going on with Langston, and I never even suspected it. Oh, honey, nobody suspected. She was very good at covering. The teachers didn't know. Nobody knew. Don't beat yourself up. You knew. How? Well, it just seemed to me. Why would a kid like that spend so many nights at other people's houses? You know, so I just thought she was an abused child, and I started investigating, and when I found out that even her best friend, Star, had never met her parents. She always seemed so together to me. Yep. Really. But two together. Jeremy, too resourceful and too fine with the idea of being you know, on her own. All She's alone. not all alone anymore. I mean, she has us and she has Star. Yeah. It's okay. She has us. Dorian, you know we're gonna have to tell somebody about this.